Oh. She's back. We're back. She's back. I'm she, back. She made it back from the land of Florida. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot I was in Florida no, last week. No, alligators or crocodiles got her. No. Or leaping lizards. Although they should have. What's up? Although they should have. Hello. We got Gary. We got Dan. We got Anne. Everybody's up in so here. Everybody should not be bored right now, so you should have no problem with board a meeting. Yeah. Problem solved. Well, Good I see know. you guys later. <laughs> and, and set. So I know uh, Bill was, and he, he was like, and scene. Uh, Bill was like, ah, Rev TV tonight. I have to get my snacks ready for this. <laughs> What's up, so, Kels? Oh, hey, Kels. What's going on, guys? All right. All right. We're warming up. I am certainly warming up my brain right now because I feel slightly brain dead right now. There you go. Much better. Hey, she Meg. She looks oh so pretty. Oh, gosh. Um, my brain has been on overdrive lately, so Which bear... now it's on underdrive. <laughs> it really is. So if I'm stumbling on my words, if I'm mixing my words up more than usual... Well, I've got my glasses on tonight, so he, that means I'm professor. Your, your professor. Yeah. So, guys, um, I'm on the struggle bus, so What's hang up, Mary? there. Mary! Quite contrary. The Mary. So this is a topic that we discuss often because it is often brought up. So we are rediscussing this Thank tonight. You, Lisa. Hey, nice glasses. <laughs> and uh, for people who are new to revolutionize or who haven't seen our lives before, they can pick up some tips or just know that they are not alone on That's this a journey. Great reminder, something we should actually do. Tell people that we do these and remind them, hey, if it's your first time, we do these normally. Hey, if it's your first ta time, <laughs> if it's your first time, I'm Michelle. I'm um, Randy. We're kind of the worst self promoters on the planet Earth. We are the owners of Revolutionized <laughs> Nutrition, and we leave it up to our fabulous nutritionists to do the nutrition work for the most part. Uh, let's see. Okay. So tonight we are discussing mindless eating, but in addition, we're going to kind of wrap in you know, the boredom eating, eating and emotional and stress eating, because in the end, it's all mindless. We kind of go into isn't a... is everything just mindless? Everything is just mindless, <laughs> Randy. You know, when we're, when we're stress eating, emotional eating, or mindless eating, it really is, we kind of black out. Some people black out, they forget they even ate anything. Um, <laughs> and others are just straight up bored and know exactly what they're doing and they don't care. Randy looks a little scared since we're you know, this, this, Since she got home, the stairs have been very slippery. They have been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the doors are a little, I keep falling into doors. I don't know. Do you remember when I slipped in the front and I have it on camera? Oh, God. Yeah, that was good. I'm going to have to repost the time that I slipped on the front stairs oh, two times in a new row. New member with Kristen Hedman. New member, Meg. Hi. Welcome. Yeah. I'm so glad that you came. Don't mind welcome. our stupidity in between smart stuff. Yeah. Welcome to Rev. Um, we are <laughs> yeah. here to provide knowledge education and, and a little bit of silly. So that's how we roll yeah. here so with shaking bacon. Yeah, so as we get into everything also... Um, like you said, part of this role is going to be into what to do when um, motivation fails. Because honestly, I'd say 90% of the time, you're not going to be motivated. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And if you're listening in the comments, I want you to welcome Meg. I want you to welcome the new people who are joining us tonight. Mary's yeah. Mary's good at that. I'll <laughs> try not to scare you off. Yeah, we'll try not to scare you off. Um, okay, so let's see. First and foremost, if you're new with us or if you've been working with us, I just kind of want to throw in there that if you ever feel like you're struggling with your motivation, because we're going to kind of pull in, you know, when motivation fails, discipline is what takes mm -hmm. over. I think the best tactic, one of the best tactics for that, and you feel like you haven't been on track, blah, 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 start with one goal, a small one, achieve it, accomplish it, feel really good about it, celebrate it, and let that kind of motivate you or inspire you um, or help you be more confident to tackle the next goal that you right. set for yourself. Sorry, I'm just loving all the comments. The I'm comments. So, so Welcome, good. Meg. Oh, the, best. the best rep community ever. Yeah. Oh, Eileen's here also. Oh, I love this. Yeah. I love this so much. Um, and one other tip I was like, I'm sure I'm getting ahead of myself because that's what I do. Michelle writes great notes and I just talk. <laughs> um, we talk over each other a lot. Yeah. When you're getting bored and you're nervous, you're about to make some bad decisions, if you have the presence of mind to be able to stop yourself with that, use your support system, whether it's um, your nutritionist, Michelle and I, um, you know, friends, family, others, just like we talked about in our previous live mm. regarding support systems and stuff. Yeah. Oh, P.S. Meg says that she sh has had an adjustment tracking macros while working the overnight. Um, you oh. should tune in on our live that we did on I shift said, workers. It on it's on YouTube. It's on here. If she scrolls down, okay. look for any video on our wall or IGTV with the blue background and look for the one that talks about <laughs> night workers, shift workers. You might get a lot of really good advice for, yeah. from that one. 
We need a Facebook group. Wait, wait, wait. Once upon a time it existed. It might be time to bring it back. I once, trust. You know what it is? Once upon a time a Facebook group existed, but then people started sharing their macros with one another and they started utilizing each other's macros that were not calculated for them. <laughs> and we ran into problems. I was like, don't do like it's Cassandra's fun. macros. Those aren't yours. Also, that was a long time ago. I mean, that was 2013, yeah. 2014. Oh, good. She watched right. Oh, good. I'm yeah. so glad that you I feel watched like We it. do have to get to work. I'm putting those all on YouTube. <laughs> Brian goes, shift work is awesome, right, Meg? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe intern. Yeah. <laughs> Intern's going to do that. That's fantastic. I watched all it live. Right. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Okay, so let's roll into this, guys. Let's tackle this together, shall we? So first and foremost, my mindless eating. If you're buying things in bulk at the supermarket, I 100% will tell you to either find the 100 calorie packs or the single serving size, or take those bulk foods that you get, and when you get home from the supermarket, throw them into individual Ziploc yeah. baggies to store in your cabinet. Well, especially with snack food, a lot of times you'll buy the bulk and it already is individually. Yeah. Which can be helpful, actually. Super helpful. The more individually wrapped things that you can find, the better that keeps you from just going and going and going. Um, <laughs> Loretta's carbs. I want Loretta's. Everybody wants Loretta's carbs. Here's 400 carbs for you, laddie. Natalie, a ve she's catching up. She catch, she's yeah, she's yeah. close. Our vegan athlete. And then Rashawn, too. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, the rice cakes. Rice yeah. cakes, yes. Uh, another thing, they make like the mini rice cakes oh, in the, the individual baggies. Oh, that's what we got. What did I get yesterday? The coconut thing? Whatever. They, the... I don't remember what I ah, ate whatever. yesterday. Okay. So, next. Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Or are you just bored? Like Randy said, if you can sit back and analyze what you're actually feeling at that time, it does help you make more educated decisions rather than impulsively acting on it. Yeah. Hey, Justin. And, and as well, too, um, I'm a big fan of journaling. As you know, especially, you know, it's great to journal when things are going good, but especially when things are going bad. Yeah. Um, if you can catch yourself journaling, um, you know, you felt bored whether you did bad or good, kind of put reasons, energy, mood around that. Mm -hmm. And if you could start tracking a... Pattern. You, we can get to the. And when we say bad or good, we're not saying you're bad or you're good. Uh, but it, bad on or track good or off track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good way to play. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Uh, first and foremost, make sure you're hydrated. Go drink some water and see how you feel after kicking back a glass or two glasses of water. Um, then, if you have room in your macros, instead of grazing at random snacks, sit and make yourself a meal. Be present in the meal um, and allow your senses to be stimulated. Yeah, a good thing you always say sometimes taking the time to make a recipe yourself yeah. can help. <laughs> Which our revolutionized cookbook would be great too. for that. Um, and as well, something neat, I don't know if we were going to say it or I read it the other day or I made it up in a <laughs> dream state. Um, <laughs> as well, so I, a neat thing, I, so whatever, when you're feeling that bored hunger state, Try and get some little, t f less than five minute boredom task around the house done. If you've been meaning to fold the laundry, go fold the laundry. If yes. you've been meaning to just, whatever. Try to knock out a little task and see if that just distracts you. Yeah, a lot of it has to do just with distractions. So um, think, just distracting yourself, whether it's going to the gym, going for a walk, a hobby. If you play music, sit at the piano, I don't know, listen to a podcast, take a shower. Some people just yeah. need to cease <sighs> their daily activity Go take a shower and refresh themselves, and they feel t so much better. Yeah, afterwards. and it doesn't have to be this hour-long thing. It could be one of those things, two minutes, does it work? No, okay, but you yeah. tried. Yeah, because, again, if you're hungry, that's a different issue. Yeah. And also, call a friend. Hop on FaceTime, right? Mm -hmm. Talk to somebody. Let's see. I'm missing some comments yeah, here. Wait, Eileen says, eating for fun. That happens, <laughs> so I have to exit the kitchen and have tea. Oh, it's tea time for me yeah. as well. Chai. Chai, guys. <laughs> Chai, guys. <laughs> So yeah, tea is great. I also drink hot water at night, which you people, do. You're, you're not people make fun of me, but it warms my soul and it feels nice. So let me be. Um, if anyone has any leftover macros, I will definitely take them. <laughs> Meg, it was tough in the beginning because I would need to eat and stay awake. That's a, yeah, yeah. that's a big one. So I've been eating high sources of protein, like hard boiled eggs, awesome. good, chopsticks, et cetera. My breakfast is at 3 a.m. when I work. Yeah, so like your time, is so different from everybody else's, but I love that you have high protein snacks to get you through it. And Matt, you need more Justin Bieber work. That's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for those <laughs> for those who don't work overnight shifts and they tend to get these these hung, hungry cravings at night, um, sometimes it's just a signal that your body wants energy to stay awake, and you're kind of in this awkward position because it's like, all right, my body is hungry, it wants food to stay awake, but it's also nine p.m. Maybe yeah. I should just get. To That's sleep. something I joke about with the. Um... Prep athlete, it's not really advice I give to regular nutrition because it's not like, I'd say, the most a little different. balanced life move. Yeah, <laughs> our athletes and general nutrition is a little uh, but, different. But a lot of times the advice is go to bed. 
go to bed. Anybody have for dinner, sleep. And if, and, if, and if you had a bad day, my advice, it's not nutrition related, but my advice is go, go to sleep. Yeah, nine out of ten times when I'm cranky, it's nap time. Just go to sleep. We're all, we're all just big babies who just need to take a nap, aren't we, though? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, in search of leftover yeah. macros. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Mary says, you got this, Meg, and talk to your nutritionists. They're the best, and they are. Pick their brains. Um, as I've discussed in a lot of our lives, not every method works for everybody um, based on lifestyle, personalities, things people like or don't like. So pick their brain and see what methods work for you to get you, to get you through that. And that's awesome, Josh. Yeah, that's Kelsey exactly. always does. <laughs> I love that. Me too. Go to bed instead of being hungry. Yeah. I mean, if your body is craving energy, but it's time to go to sleep, maybe you should go to sleep. But in the flip side, I don't suggest going to sleep starving, which is nice to have um, go-to snacks for nighttime if you need something to just kind of yeah. settle yourself, whether it's a sugar-free jello or a small portion of uh, plain Greek yogurt or a half a protein shake or some scrambled yeah. egg whites or a cottage cheese. And your nutritionist may or may not yell at me, but if you're ever stuck in a spot and you need macros, go over your protein. Yeah, if there's anything, I think a protein we're, source. We're always going to be less concerned if you went 25 over because you're hungry and your protein. Yeah, eat. and in addition, your protein is nice and slow digest. Satiating, uh, if digesting. you Satiating. Digesting. Si <laughs> digesting and it is satiating. So it's going to leave you feeling satisfied as you go to sleep instead of sitting there like, I want to eat What's something. Up, um, and in addition, uh, yeah. Josh mentioned this, what some people do is they move some of their macros to be utilized at night because they know that they're snackers. So they'll save a hundred calories, 200 calories yeah. for nighttime. And that's something too. Actually, I think that's a great thing. A lot of my, uh, clients over here, me too. And I've really gotten my, uh, game together. I'm definitely a sweets person at night or after dinner or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I track that first in my day and work around it. And if I don't need it, I have something extra. Right. Uh, chocolate. That sweet tooth, like Eileen mentioned, also, especially when I'm on prep, I keep the Apollo Nutrition Dutch chocolate protein in my cabinet. So I will use, <laughs> even if it's just a half a scoop, and I mix it with a tiny bit of water to make a thick, like, pudding consistency with a little dollop of fat-free whipped cream on top. Boom, it hits my sweet tooth, and that protein, yeah. again, makes me feel a little bit more and, satisfied. And I got to say, your cottage cheese, cheese protein with a little bit of chocolate actually is a one it's of the better ones. so damn good. Yeah. I know. Uh, co I like know. Cocoa PB2 is a good one for that. Yeah, Cocoa PB2 for the yeah. little chocolate fix. Yeah. Yep. And then some of you guys oh, might be oh. able to make an actual piece of chocolate yeah. fit. Which or is the great. Colonel Seasons, too. The Colonel Seasons, I remember that. The yeah. chocolate uh, caramel. Anyone in the office, by the way, Colonel Seasons are like life hacks. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> They're good ones to have. Uh, Quest, Quest Reese's Cups, life saving. Yeah. And, and those are good options as long as you have room for the fats at night, 100%. <laughs> I like that. Maybe it, it tastes better than you think with the other stuff. Yeah. And Eileen, the Apollon pudding, it is a good go-to of mine and I love it. It is it is delicious. Yeah. Definitely hits the sweet she, tooth. She's not lying. She honestly eats that probably at least once a day. Yeah. <laughs> and Anne just finished off some Girl Scout cookies only half a sleeve. Well, if you made it fit. Oh, it's good then. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I won't tell anybody. I had one Thin Mint today. One. It worked. <laughs> yeah. It was no big deal. Uh, you lost me at cottage cheese. We lose a lot of people at cottage cheese. It's something that I liked. I think it's a consistency thing. Yeah, it is. Which, oh, if Brienne's still here. Oh, the curds? Or Brienne, <laughs> who has... We've been working with Brienne since what year? 15? 16, 15, 16. 15. Brienne hates everything. She hates everything. And she only recently opened her life to egg whites and cottage cheese, but she could only do the cottage cheese if it was whipped. She goes, um, <laughs> whipped cottage cheese. <laughs> uh, friendship makes 1% whipped cottage cheese and the consistency is a little bit better and she it's, loves it. it. It's, it's, this curds are very small. The curds, it's very small curds. Right. Yes, <laughs> and one uh, Thin Mint cookie. I'm, Before we get too derailed. I'm impressed. Bah, 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 bah. Okay. Uh, if you're ordering uh, curbside or ordering like restaurant takeout and whatnot, you know the meals are massive. So first thing first, I would just take your single serving out of that and put the rest away for leftovers tomorrow. It also saves you money <laughs> to, to do it that way. That's my shit. <laughs> I love this so much. The comments are on fire. You can make anything fit into your flexible nutrition plan. My best recommendation is to track your treat ahead mm -hmm. of time and work the rest of your day around it. Never deprive yourself. Yes, you should not be depriving yourself, yes, especially with, with this approach, right? You can make it all work. Whipped cottage cheese is great. Uh, See, uh, she's on it. And again, I'm super sidetracked. That's one of the best new things I think about flexible nutrition is you can adapt the rigidity of it to your uh, goals at the time. So, yeah. Um, and I actually have a talk with our nutritionist Rebecca today. I think a lot of people forget that when we give numbers, they're ranges. <laughs> they're ranges. You do not have to be obsessive, compulsive, and hit the number spot yeah, on. If it's 150 protein, that, that means to me between 135 and 165. You've got ranges. Um, and I also love 
uh, the whip What's with up, the Chris? cottage cheese, add some fat free whipped cream to it, and uh, you can mix in. I do the uh, no sugar added diced peaches again. Make yeah. sure if you're getting any like cupped uh, fruit, it is no sugar added, and I mix that in. Outrageous, I love it. It's one of my favorites. Yes, <laughs> during research, Betty Kate, during research. I love good old research. Kate. Research, I told you I was gonna have issues with my words. I'm enjoying today. it. Thank you. I'm glad, and I am here for your entertainment. Am you, I a clown? Am I here for your amusement? See, uh, <laughs> What's funny about that? Are you not entertained? Feel free to I love to how make the quote I go to is Goodfellas and she's off to Gladiator. I went right to Gladiator. Do you see the difference between us two? I'm old. Gosh, <laughs> we are really getting sidetracked. Okay, so now, tips to overcome emotional and stress eating. Ha! Which, <laughs> it's super easy. It's, no. <laughs> it's really easy. What uh, up, Dave? <laughs> so when we do this, first of all, if you had a, let's call it a slip up, uh, ditch the guilt, leave it behind you and move on. If there was a bad meal, don't let it become two bad meals, two days a week and so forth. The worst thing you can do is become guilty, raise your stress levels and say, F this, this is too hard for me and move on. The most successful people that we know with Revolutionize or any program are the people who don't put the pressure on themselves about having to be perfect. Yeah. We think of that like 80-20 rule or 90-10, whatever yeah. your balance is. Um, remember that. Remember nobody's perfect. The most successful people just get back on track sooner than later. Yeah, she's not in the in the live right now, so I'm not going to name her, but, fast enough, but I was with a client today mm -hmm. who's uh, having one of her best preps I've had with her in years. And one of the best things about it, and we've noticed why her success is going so well, is She's had some mess ups, but she's not beating herself up over it. She's not over restricting next. She's just kind of living with it, and her progress has been sick this year. And that's what it's all about. That's yeah, what it's all it's about. It's really cool. We know oh, that day. nutrition, numbers, and science are the easy part. The emotional, the mental component is yeah. not the easy part. Yeah, if it was just science, I'd look way better. <laughs> She's a nice one, isn't um, she? <laughs> okay. Hunger reality check. Like we were saying before, is your hunger, um, first of all, are you bored, thirsty, or hungry? But is your hunger physical or emotional? So knowing the difference between I want to emotionally eat because I'm stressed out versus I'm actually hungry and I need to eat something. So again, sit back, have yourself a pep talk, and figure out what the hell is actually uh -huh. going on right I now. I know I'm a broken record, but especially if you find it's related more to emotional eating, journal, journal, journal. Yes. And I think that a good reality check in addition is I like the example – Am I hungry for grilled chicken and broccoli yes. or am I hungry for junk food? Anything else. Yeah. If you're hungry for anything else, it's probably emotional. But if you're hungry for like a bland piece of chicken, you're hungry. What was the actual example somebody gave us the other day? I'll work with that one. That's I'm not going to oh, take me too long. There was otherwise. another, it was a really good one. Nice comment there. So Meg, before Rev, I didn't know there were ranges for macronutrients. So when I would try to do it on my own, I would be obsessive about yeah. hitting the numbers. And that is a big misconception in the macronutrient, yeah. macro nutrition yeah, world universe, yeah. universe is that this is your number. This is what you yeah. have to hit. No. It's flexible nutrition, not only choosing flexibility with foods, but flexibility yeah. in And that's always how the flexible nutrition has been from its core, but I'd say it's got more popular and brought in some of the less educated nutrition about it. That's where it's gotten more rigid. Yep. Um, and I keep calling her Megan. She may be Megatron. I don't know this. I her just, name's Megatron! <laughs> I just know Meg. It's Megatron. <laughs> uh, she's now dubbed Megatron. We haven't even met in person yet. <laughs> Hard boiled eggs was the hard boiled eggs. Was it hard boiled eggs? That was the example. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. Well, that was uh, Kelly's. Yes, 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 yes. It's if, the, hard I, the hard boiled egg test. Is yeah. that what it was? The egg test. The egg, egg test. test. Am I hungry for eggs or am I hungry for a hard boiled? Yeah. Girl Scout cookies, like yeah. Anne discussed with us before. I think it was eggs. Yep, everybody. They remembered yeah. Kelly Johnson's egg test. First week, a legit drink, some <laughs> olive oil to hit my fats. This was before I realized the ranges weren't. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You do not have to sit there and be like, I must eat this tablespoon of olive oil to hit yeah. my fats. I, I mean, I, I have stories of people weighing out grams of protein powder. Or eating, or eating a half of an <laughs> almond to get there. As much as I... I, I my, my weird side of me is on antagonize that. I'm like, please don't cause people to have problems. Don't cause... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, if you're new to revolutionizes Rev TV, Rev Live. Uh, Randy and I can be very sarcastic, so sometimes we need to- If it sounds stupid, it is. Yeah, but this is an industry where a lot of things- Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are stupid, but people take them very literally yeah. and not- If, if anything little... you're concerned about, please ask me after. I will usually be like, Randy, don't say that. So just uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> I don't recommend the oil. Yeah, I don't recommend that either. Um, I said before, call a friend. Reach out to somebody. Distract yourself. Distract your mind. Randy said, write it out. If you're emotionally or stress eating, why are you doing that? What was your trigger? Um, 
<laughs> yeah. What? What did you do? Oh. <laughs> what did you do? What? The last comment, Megatron. Oh my God, Megatron. Uh, I see Michelle a couple of times at Revan passing. I think you guys were filming. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We were there filming today. Uh, please come introduce yourself as Megatron. I would love that. And I will like, really would laugh make <laughs> my ass off. Like, I'm going to get you a shirt that says, like, Rev Megatron. Yeah. I'm getting her own shirt. All right. <laughs> so, um, so please introduce yourself. I'm usually running around like a mad woman. So just, like, punch me in the face and be like, hi, I'm Megatron. Yeah, that works. <laughs> so, uh, so write things out, write out your thoughts, write out what your trigger was. Um, it does help. It can be very therapeutic journaling. Yeah. And also it can help you establish trends, yeah. habits, um, patterns. patterns. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. They're all, so, they're all, they're all correct. We're, we're at Miss Th Thesaurus today. I am. Uh, I'm a, I'm a well, thesaurus. And I think I always repeat this, but when I say journal, it could mean three words, good, bad, this, or it could be a novel. There's no right or wrong way to journal, just journal. You do what's good for you, but Yeah. Um, a lot of the stuff when it comes to emotional stuff, and I haven't, we haven't had done a heavy mental in a while, mm -hmm. no right or wrong, just do. Yes. Yes, we got to do a heavy mental health one at well, some point. Well, we just talk about That one I want to do in person, though. Yeah. Um, okay. So, let's see. I some good questions coming through. Let's see. Uh... Ryan. Hi, Ryan. I noticed when I am stressed, I tend to crave sweets at night. I found having a small snack top with fat-free yeah. whipped cream. Yeah, man. And I think the fat-free whipped cream. And, and Cool Whip. And Cool Whip. I got that stashed, like, legit. Those are cheat codes. The sugar-free jellos with that is a great go-to. Yeah. I had two sugar-free jellos the other day for a whopping 20 calories. Like, whatever you need to kind of get you through that. Get the edge off. <laughs> Take off the edge. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Going back to this, don't deprive yourself when you're dealing with stress and emotional eating as well. Now, when I am going to tackle this topic in, a, in an interesting way, I'm not saying don't deprive yourself, meaning like, I'm emotional, I want to eat everything, and Michelle said don't deprive myself, so I'm going to just like, go ham. Which is how I would take it. Which is how you would take it. <laughs> it's more of, okay, I am emotional, I am stressed, I am hungry. Uh, I don't want to deprive myself and eat what I thought I was going to eat, perhaps, for meal <laughs> six. Whippets do help. Which, whippets do help, which might be chicken and broccoli. If you, if there's a certain type of food or a certain recipe that you want <laughs> to have that wasn't originally planned, see what you can do. See how you can try to make it fit into your, into your macros for the day with that flexibility. Sometimes it helps knowing yeah. that you have flexible numbers to be able to make something unplanned yeah. fit. And that's a good thing, too, to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that is a record. I haven't even we brought up robot bodies yet. Or robot bodies. drugs came up. <laughs> I haven't been drugs, robot bodies, or cults at all. It's a weird night. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also, um, Michelle is saying there, too. Um, and if you find yourself gravitating toward a certain type of food. Um, Sorry, that was like the winning comment. Uh, but you're not sure what to pick. <laughs> that's a great time to text, email the nutritionist or us and be like, hey, what works this time? How can I make this fit better? So maybe we won't be able to help that exact situation, but next time we the, can. And I'm so glad that you said that because, listen, as accessible as your nutritionists are and you can reach out to them daily via email, it might be 10 o'clock at night and they're sleeping. You know what I mean? So, again. Six if, and I'm sleeping. If we're, yeah, exactly. So if they can't answer your question there, they can give you suggestions to tackle that issue. Yeah, in the most of the time these things will, be, will happen again. Nice job, Huggy Bear. That's me. Okay. Snack healthy. So if yeah. we have room for snacking or we just want to make something work, right. let's try to find options that are yeah. the best well, Whether it's uh, like, like, you know, this is just, let's say you're watching a movie and it's kind of, hey, we, you know, what do you say when you watch a movie well, or TV? like Bill said he had all of his snacks ready for Rev TV yeah. tonight. Um, you know, 100 calorie popcorn is always a win. Yeah. So that's actually, <gasps> that's one of my examples. Yeah. So 100. With, with kernel season. With kernel season is even better. But the 100 yep. calorie popcorn is going to, again, single yeah. serving. So you're not eating a whole bag yes yeah, and, I, and i think every Ooh. time someone mentions quest protein chips i have to also mention with the, the carb free e clean bro chili is always a great it's choice so or your good. own chili it's so good but uh, i really enjoy that combo the quest protein chips are one of my favorites and, and they're i always very versatile. they're very versatile and i always keep a bag in my car like for instance today i was driving all over the yeah, place for pop. work and i was able to kick those back and they do fill you up the quest protein mm. chips they are lower in fat they're lower in carbs and nice and high in protein to see and, and they do you. make good breading on proteins as well if you they crush do them up yeah you can even crush them up and roll them around yeah oh. ideally in something healthy not rolling them in like cream cheese but <laughs> you know should, each one i should take the ranch and roll it in a cheese log Oh my! Make like a mountain dew. Jeez, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, keep fresh veggies in your um, in your refrigerator, cold, if you will, in your cold, cold compartment, your cold closets. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, things like cucumbers, uh, peppers, carrots, all those things, celery. Those are all good things to have to kind of munch on. Oh, what's up, Luca? Oh, hey, Luca. Quest Protein Chips are her favorite also. So if you don't know, we are on two platforms. We are on the Facebook and the Facebook and, and the, gram. the Gram platform. So if you see us going back and forth between comments, that's why. Uh, Berries, blueberries, raspberries, yeah. strawberries are great to have yeah, around. Yeah, speaking of Clean Bro, I think they just added berries to their They did. They yeah. added fresh berries to Eat Clean Bros. Eat Clean Bros. A la carte. Uh, in addition, if you are trying to use our revolutionized discount code with Eat Clean Bro, they updated their website a couple weeks ago and they're having some issues with their Moving discount codes. Yeah. So hang in there, guys. Um, if you need a code, I can give you a temporary code that works, but I think it's only going to work like maybe one to five, I don't know, three times or something. As soon as we have our code available, I will be announcing it all over the place. So you have it, uh, your quest chips. Good idea. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the protein pudding I told you is another great one. Low fat um, cheese is great. Yeah. Yogurt, cottage uh, cheese. And a great question by Dan. Um, is there Dan any, the uh, is there any fruit that are higher in sugars that we should, uh, Eat more in moderation. That's an awesome, awesome It's an awesome question. question. What's up, Rick? So, so what I would do, um, first of all, when you're using like my Fitness Pal app or your Lose It app, whatever, um, you can choose any fruit you want. A lot of times it comes down to the quantity of the fruit that you're going to have. Yeah. The nice thing about berries is that you can have more volume yeah. of them for a lower caloric, for lower calories mm -hmm. than some of your tropical but, fruit, for instance. Yeah, so, you know, when I'm giving advice in seminars or just, you know, generic advice, my answer is, you know, bananas, apples, uh, Peach. those peaches, those sort of things. Delicious, nothing wrong with them, absolutely wonderful, mm -hmm. great pre-workouts, great energy, but their carb count is not insignificant. So as a mindless eating thing, it's really not going to fill you up versus the carbs it's going to cost. Right. And now, again, it goes to the size, all right? Did you have an apple this big or did you have an apple this big? You can also <laughs> choose what's going to satisfy you too and, and hit the the sweet tooth and craving that you're having. But I do always suggest I think berries are like the best and berries are also higher in fiber. Uh what I would do is in your MyFitnessPal, track the fruit ahead of time and see what the fiber content is, a, is as well. Fiber is not talked about enough. And if you choose food items that are higher in fiber, it is going to fill you up more. And it also aids in digest, uh, digestion. Um, and She's talking about poop. I am talking about poop. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, and it, it is going to satisfy you more. So don't forget about the importance of your fiber intake, 25 to 30 grams, uh, 25 for women, 30 for men. But again, there's ranges within that yeah. as well. And uh, that's a whole, you do a whole time, thing on some. 250 <laughs> grams of blueberries is a workout. So. <laughs> yeah. yep. Dan's like two in over there. Um, <laughs> the next thing is, like Randy said, have a support system. Support one another. Encourage each other. If you're going through a rough time, reach out to somebody that you know can can help you through it. And vice versa. Be there for somebody as well. <laughs> I love the emojis. Yeah. Everybody loves poop talk, don't they? It is. It's good stuff. As much as we talk about food going in, the food's got to it, come It's out equal. It, it is equal. Um, but yeah, what Michelle was saying too, and a good thing as well is like I, I always like to say the Rev community is flipping awesome. Like it's really cool, especially you know, this, yeah, they are in this uh, environment we're in to have such a really positive group of people. Um, and it's funny because I'd say the changeover to just having like massive positivity probably happened like three or four years ago. Yeah, and I kept saying, man, when's that foot going to drop? And it hasn't. It's only gotten better, and it's really cool to see. It is awesome. Like you guys are all here right now, and then we have people that aren't here that you know yeah. watch these lives at a later date. But, but our community is fantastic. Yeah, there's so many guys that you know DM talk separately and mm -hmm. privately, and it's it's one of the coolest things we hear when someone mentions one of the things to us yeah. and how much it helped. Like that's like a, a team of mini coaches. It really is the Facebook group yeah. support system. Kels is a is a rock star. Kels I, I always is tell yes, you and they all are. Like your nutritionists are so important to utilize, and I don't think that they're utilized enough by some of our members, and that really increases the value of what you're getting with Rev. You don't see your nutritionist once a week, and that's it. You have access to them all the time within their work hours, and reasonably and, and so. And again, they always send out good emails and stuff too. Um, mm -hmm. So if there's something you want them to talk about, you can always recommend that as well, them as well, because a lot of times they send out a lot of good information on their own too. Yep. And then you have Randy and I. So yes, your nutritionist is your touch point, but if they're not available, if there's an emergency, if you need us to just oversee something, something, you can reach out to us as well. That's what we're here for. We're CC'd on so many emails to make sure that you know that yeah. we're, and, we're and all And as well, available. we can kind of point you in the right direction because as much uh, media content as we have out there, we can do a better job of organizing it. 
<laughs> so if you're looking for something, we can send you it, it your way. We can. And we're always open, open to suggestions. Like, even these lives, we ask you guys what topics do you want us to discuss because we want to answer questions that you guys have and not be sitting here like, what should we talk about? Um, I beg to differ. <laughs> and, 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 and speaking of speaking, I, I think I see I speak and talk to Kelsey more on our lives than I do in the off We do. Because we have the wrong, we have different hours. Yeah, and different ends. <laughs> they have different ends. Rebecca is also. And with now. Rebecca, <laughs> they are all, they are all fabulous, fabulous. And we're honestly so honored to have them and, and proud of them. And um, she actually, funny story, she actually was one of uh, the referrals for Kelsey when Kelsey started. Who? What? Rebecca, Rebecca. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry. So I'm, I'm like, who's a referral reading the comments? Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's a funny story. Uh, Dan, you started a war. We don't pin people against each other These are the kind of wars say. I like. I will totally... Here, everybody gets a trophy, Dan. We have Team Jacob and Team... <laughs> <laughs> team Edward. <laughs> no, nah, seriously, our staff is awesome, and I just want to remind the people watching to reach out to them, to utilize them. We are here for you guys. <laughs> I come here just to show Rainy Spaces. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so, I mean, does Those that little... kind of cover, like, the main uh, thing? Like I said, this is a topic that I think we can talk about for four hours and do nothing. Oh, shit. Not put a dent in it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they're high school besties. <laughs> they are high school besties. They, they go way back. Yeah, Rebecca referred Kelsey to our position. Yeah. So, to her position as a nutritionist at Rev. <laughs> so, it's so funny how that all came around. But, yeah, it's like I said, this is a topic we can talk about really every week, all week. Because um, it's so common. Th it's this so is common. probably the biggest problem with staying consistent on diet. You know, because even people say, oh, I like to go out my friends to this. That's not every day. Right. Boredom is every day. <laughs> it's every day. You know, we hit that. But if you can do things to fill that time, whether it's you know clean, cleaning, whatever it is, you figure out what works for you and you do that. Yeah. And in addition, if you're bored, stressed, emotionally eating, uh, identifying the trigger and breaking the chain of your normal uh, reactions to yeah. that trigger is super well, important. You, could, you know, always silly things too. And this is, uh, you know, I don't like to tie working out to eating too much, but if you're bored, be like, hey, I'm going to do 10 push ups or 20 air squats or. I've done that. I have a pull up bar over there. Like yeah, just knock out a couple of things. And then, yeah, I don't know, even if you go eat, you feel less guilty about it. Yeah, <laughs> not for nothing. After you bang out like 10 push ups, you're not or super 10, hungry. Or 10 pull ups, you're not, but you're also like, ah, like your heart rate's raised and you're ready to go. And in addition, you know, everybody says, how do I stay motivated? How do I stay, how do I stay motivated? I'm going to tell you something that really sucks. And that is that motivation doesn't last. Yeah. You are going to wake up days feeling so motivated and other days you're going to feel like ass. And it happens to the best of us. And that's okay. Yeah, and it probably happens more than I'd say a lot of people admit especially people that are super fit mm -hmm. they like to sometimes we like to uh, not we <laughs> sometimes people that are really fit people like to act like i got here because i'm perfect and they don't like to admit they're that. not they're it's, not you know <laughs> everybody has their issues um discipline's the move i say just like you know going to work do we want to go every day i mean i do but some people don't i love work. um and you know you go because you want the paycheck kind of like that's how it is with fitness sometimes you want the paycheck to fitness and nutrition and sometimes yeah. you just got to do the work you got to do the work bro you got to do the work so remember discipline is what's going to take over when motivation fails you right. need to have that discipline and listen if you're not 100 percent, it's cool you will still move in the direction of yeah. your goals at 80 percent and, and okay. what do you say have an accountability buddy accountability buddy well, <laughs> where are your accountability buddies? Everybody here in this comment section is your accountability buddy, but have a specific person who is your accountability buddy who's going to hold you accountable, hold you accountable, yeah. because we all need to be accountable and yeah. responsible for our actions. And a great tip I use with a lot of the athletes I work with, I tell a lot of our clients to do at the end of your day, take a screenshot of your macros and shoot them over to your nutritionist. Um, it's kind of at least a, I've told someone I'm done. Yeah, I've closed the day. You know, so it kind of, you know, are things still going to come? Of course they are. Mm -hmm. But it can kind of guilt you into being good. Exactly. It Not good. Guilt you into being within your numbers. Much better, Randy. Okay. That was superb. That's what I If do. you guys have any tips or suggestions or questions, drop them in the comments right now. Yeah, we actually right now. have some neat ideas. Sort of, we have some cool guests coming on over the next, you know, weeks to months i think you guys will be excited about yeah um, i think next week we're working with the millennial therapist yeah which is really cool what, what she, exactly? we're gonna be i'm trying to find figure out a name for this but basically the concept is the relationship with yourself and how it relates to your relationship with food um and how these relationships kind of mimic each other yeah so so that's pretty cool and i think in the coming weeks as well we're gonna be looking to bring on um a, a dietitian therapist that works more in the eating disorder world to get mm -hmm. a, a take of that as well yes exactly um, josh yeah. joshy 
Just think about having to admit to Kelsey that you screwed up. That will make you be good. Uh, again, I can't tell you the amount case. of times I've walked into the Elsa, the office and she just punched me so hard. Like, I've flown back. From, like, you wouldn't expect it because she's, you know, slightly small, but she can punch. She's strong. <laughs> she's very strong. Oh, my God. This is... This is... <laughs> Very you need strong. to know our sense of humor, guys. <laughs> I'm always so sorry if we offend anybody with the things that we say. I'm very Never. soft. <laughs> See? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you do it to me all the time. You just do it in secrecy. I'm doing it. Like, guys! Yeah, see? I think I'm funny. <laughs> all right, what else do you guys do you have? What else do you have for us, guys? Anything? Anything? Anything at all? I hope that this helped a bit. Yeah. And if always, please DM us, reach out, let us know anything uh, you want to talk about privately or something you'd like to talk about publicly. Exacto mundo. Danielle, I love you. Love. I love you so much. We'll let you guys get on with your night and work on all those new boredom tips. Yes, <laughs> and if you are coming into this late and you missed the last 36 minutes, we are going to yeah. be saving this to our Instagram wall. And I personally can tell you it was a good one. It was the best Probably going to be better the second time. Actually, around. what was our best one? I would love to hear from the audience yeah. as to what Let our best live was. Let us know later in the comments. We'll, uh, Let us know what your favorite live was that we'll we ever did. We'll talk more about that when we'll we'll yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll 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 we'll, 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 we should do like a fan favorite Q&A one of these days. We should. We should. Yeah, the best <laughs> seminar we ever did was the mental health oh, well, that was a bang. last year. We had to cap it off at 80 people. I, I think people like hearing about people. my misery. Oh. So I have to hit rock bottom again just to tell everyone Can about it. Can you not do that? Well, you know, it's interesting. Randy's doing really Recovery well. Recovery is not that fun. It's you pretty boring. You guys are the best. Ah, <laughs> oh, Chels. I love you, Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea. Go check out Bradley Brew Project for your Oh, <laughs> if you're having your cheat meal or you want to, like, have a, have a date, check out Bradley Brew Project in Bradley Beach. One of one of the wonderful owners, Chelsea, who's one of my best friends, is here in the comments as well. Got to give you guys a plug. Can you have Matt Fab come on and sing? <laughs> <Chelsea>? <laughs> I was, I was, yes, hundred percent. I think this needs to happen. We need to. Do I'm a, enjoying this. We need yeah. to do a nutrition and music and, and seminar and, and beer seminar. Have your dad come sing. <laughs> we should. We, dad, Michael Zaman in the house singing his duo. All right, guys. All right, everybody. Stay healthy. Stay sane. We love you. We love you all. Good night. Be well. Bye. Bye. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Bye.